There's an unmistakable fear that surges within us at the sight of a bee. The anticipation. The dread of that sharp, tiny sting. But have you ever wondered, what prompts these gentle pollinators to turn defenders? What lies behind that sting? Welcome to Behind the Sting, Understanding Bee Defense Mechanisms. In this documentary, we journey into the world of bees, exploring their unique defense strategies, deconstructing the anatomy of a bee sting, and unearthing the reasons behind these misunderstood creatures' self-sacrificial act of defense. Bees aren't just honey factories. They are intricate creatures, with fascinating behaviors and mechanisms, each one born from the necessity of survival. Today, we dive deep into their world to understand one of nature's most misunderstood defense mechanisms, the bee sting. Join us on this enlightening journey, as we lift the veil off the mystery of the bee sting, shattering misconceptions and fostering a newfound respect for these tiny, yet vital guardians of our ecosystem. To truly appreciate the extraordinary nature of bee defense mechanisms, we must first delve into their anatomy. Their body, delicate yet purpose-built, forms the cornerstone of their survival tactics. Bees are insects and like all insects, their bodies consist of three main segments, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. It's in the latter, the abdomen, where we find the bee's primary weapon of defense, the stinger. But not all bees are created equal. For instance, a honeybee stinger is barbed, designed to stick into the attacker and continue delivering venom, even at the cost of the bee's own life. In contrast, many other bees and wasps have smooth stingers, allowing them to sting repeatedly without harming themselves. It's a significant distinction, reflecting the lengths a honeybee will go to protect its hive. They truly embody the term, giving one's life for the greater good. As we move forward, you'll begin to see just how integral this self-sacrificial act is to the life and functioning of the bee colony. So now that we've shed some light on the bee's anatomy and the crucial differences among species, let's delve deeper into the act we all instinctively fear, the sting. The stinging process is an intricate one, a chain of reactions that begins even before the stinger makes contact with skin. But what exactly happens when a bee stings? As the bee stinger pierces the skin, its venom sac and muscles are left behind. These continue to pump venom into the target, a process driven not by the bee, but by the mechanics of our own bodies. Our skin's pressure forces the stinger deeper, causing further venom injection. For a honey bee, stinging is a last resort, an act of absolute desperation. Its barbed stinger gets lodged into the skin of its target and when the bee attempts to fly away, it leaves behind its stinger, venom sac, and part of its digestive tract. This results in the bee's ultimate sacrifice. Death. A harrowing example of what nature will do to protect its community. This brings us to a crucial question, why do bees sting? Is it aggression or something more nuanced? Let's explore further in the next section. We've seen the deadly costs a bee pays for its sting. So why do they do it? Is it merely an act of aggression, or is there something more? The answer lies not in aggression, but in protection. Bees sting as a method of self-defense or to defend their colony. In fact, only female bees, known as worker bees, can sting. Guard bees, a subset of the workers, are typically the ones who sting, as they're responsible for hive defense. But stinging isn't their first line of defense. Bees first try to warn off intruders. They'll raise their abdomen and release a pheromone, a chemical signal to other bees that danger is present. This pheromone doesn't just serve as a warning. It also marks the target, helping other bees identify where to direct their defensive efforts. Only when their warnings go unheeded do bees resort to stinging. Understanding these behaviors is key to coexisting with bees. With caution and respect, we can avoid provoking these vital pollinators, and they can continue their essential work without resorting to deadly defense. The stinging process we've seen is intricate and alarmingly effective. But what about its aftermath? What makes a bee sting hurt so much, and why do some people have severe reactions? 
the venom from a bee sting is a complex mix of proteins and molecules, one of which is called melitin. Melitin triggers pain receptors, causing the immediate sharp pain we associate with bee stings. But the pain and swelling aren't just the result of melitin. Other components in the venom break down cell membranes, cause inflammation, and stimulate other pain receptors. Most of the time, a bee sting, while painful, isn't dangerous. However, in some people, bee stings can trigger an allergic reaction called anaphylaxis. This can be life-threatening and requires immediate medical attention. So while the humble bee isn't out to harm us, their stings are not to be taken lightly. But, remember, they don't wish to sting, it's a last line of defense, a sacrificial act. In our next segment, we'll discuss how we can safely coexist with these remarkable, misunderstood creatures and what you can do if you get stung. As we've seen, bees aren't the villains they're often made out to be. With understanding and respect, we can coexist safely with these important creatures. The best way to avoid a sting is to leave bees undisturbed. If a bee comes near you, stay calm and still. Swatting or panicking may provoke a sting. Educating others, particularly children, about bees' defensive nature can also prevent unnecessary stings and foster a new generation of bee advocates. If you need to interact with bees directly, such as for beekeeping, make sure to wear proper protective clothing and use a smoker. The smoke masks the bees' alarm pheromones and helps keep them calm. But what if you do get stung? The first step is to remove the stinger as quickly as possible. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't matter how you remove it, just that you do it quickly to limit venom injection. Then, clean the area and apply a cold compress to reduce swelling. Over-the-counter pain relievers and anti-itch creams can also help. If an allergic reaction occurs, seek medical help immediately. Remember, bees play a vital role in our world. Their stinging is a sacrifice they make to protect their community, not an act of aggression towards ours. So next time you see a bee, remember the journey we've been on today. Remember the sacrifice they are willing to make, and let's give them the respect and space they deserve. After all, our world wouldn't be the same without them. Respect bees, protect our world.